Hi everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about how to switch between the, the selected toggle groups and save them. So if I click on toggle 4 and I quit the game and I come back, it should be selected on toggle, toggle 4. So right now if we hit play, we can see that that's not happening. So let's say if I go on toggle 4, I quit and then I play. Instead of going back to toggle 4, it stays on toggle 1. So I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. So if you have a folder with your scripts, add it onto your uh, script folder. Uh, I added a, a folder called tutorial scripts because this is a project that I'm working on and um, I have other scripts on there already. So just right click, go to create, C sharp, and then name it whatever you want. I'm going to name save selected toggles or save selected toggle. And then what you could do is you could go to your toggle group. Now, if you don't know how to make a toggle group and all this, I have a video on it. I'll leave you a link so you guys can check that out. But on your toggle group, we could just drag this onto it. Or what you could also do is add component and search it up, save select the toggle, and then just click it. And as you can see, now we got two of them. So make sure you just got one. Now uh, we're going to open it up. So double click on it to open it up. Now I'm going to explain this real quick since I haven't had any coding or scripting tutorials. So using is just a library of code. So using Unity Engine, this Unity Engine has certain library full of code. So if you don't have this, some of the code won't work. So like, let's say I erase this. And now as you can see, this mono behavior turned white and it got a little red error line below it, meaning that it needs, as you can see right here, it says type of namespace cannot be found. So the library that um, this code is looking for cannot be found. So we'll just put back using Unity Engine. Now, as you can see, it is found. Now, public class, this is the class you created, the script that you created, and it is being inherited by mono behavior. So this little colon uh, thing means inherited. And then after that, we would put a uh, little curly braces. And then after that, there's this void start. Now start is called before the first frame update. So before this is uh, called, uh, the start method is called. Now there's also other functions like uh, void awake and these are all built in uh, functions or methods that unity provides for us. So this void awake starts even before the void start. So this is good if you want to set your, um, let's say you have components that you want to find in the scene or if you have a game object that you want to find like your player, then uh, it would be best to uh, set it right here in the awake. But uh, let's just get started. So for this toggle group to work, what we would need is to reference the toggles. So as I said, we need uh, to use certain libraries to find certain codes. So right now I need to use the toggle group, but I won't be able to find it. So let's say I put private toggle. Now I got save selected toggle. I got my, my script that I made, but I don't have the actual toggle component or toggle script. So what I could do is I could erase these and for us to be able to access this toggle, we have to use be using unity engine.ui. So now when I type out toggle, as you can see, we got a toggle and we got a toggle group right here. So I'm gonna click toggle and then we're gonna have a number of toggles. So we can make an array, which just which is a list of uh, toggles. So a list of game objects that are toggles or we could just simply just spell out toggle one, toggle two, and then just continue that for all the toggles that you have. So if you got two toggles, just one and two, if you got five, you could do it like that. Now, after you got your toggles set, this is private, so we won't be able to see it in the inspector. So let's say I go in the spectrum, I go to my toggle group once it's finished, finished compiling. So when you do go back, just make sure to always control S, which is save uh, your, your file. Or if you're on Mac, you could do command S to save it. And then once you go back to your toggle group, you can see there's no variables, nothing showing. So this toggle group is also a script. And as you can see, there's a variable showing. And here you don't see any variables. So let me show you on the toggle group how this is a script. If you go to these little three points, you click edit script. As you can see, this is the code for the toggle group. And as you can see, you could study this, you could learn from this. Um, later on, I'll show you 
how to break down these codes so you guys could kind of understand what all these mean, what the summary means, what these lines mean, uh, these comment lines, all this stuff. I'll show you how to do it. But just to show you um, how we can see, where is it at? We can see allow switch off. So if we go over here and we look for allow switch off, let me see if I could find it right here. So right here, you can see it says public bool allow switch off. So that's what makes it, uh, that's why you could see it in the inspector is because it's public. Now we have it private. Now another reason to make something public is so they, so people could access it, access this variable from another script. So if I wanted to access this variable from this script, let's say I make a, a private toggle group and then is on or allow switch, i put allow switch. So if I go over here and I put allow switch dot, and then as you can see, you could have all these, these are all public. And if we go to allow switch off right here, this is the variable. So if we go back, this is this right here, allow switch off. And then we could just set it to whatever we want. If we want it to be true, if we want it to be false. And that's why that's set to public. So if you don't want other scripts to access these toggles, set it to private. And if you want it to be seen in the inspector, all you got to do is put these uh, uh, brackets and then just put serialized field. So all you do is put serialized field, private toggle. And then when we save it, go back to the inspector, we should see all four of them. So wait until it saves. And as you can see, we can see all four of them shown in the inspector. So I'll just drag each one. So toggle, toggle one, toggle two, toggle and toggle three. Now we'll go back to the code and we'll start coding this out. So what we're gonna do, we're not gonna need the update function. And what we could do is we're gonna make a public because we want this to be accessed either in other scripts or in let's say on click events, which I'm gonna show you how to do right now or on value changes as well. So we're gonna go to public. We're gonna put toggle one selected and then we're gonna put these curly or uh, these uh, parentheses and then the curly braces. Oh, and then after the public, we gotta put void. We can't forget public void. So uh, as you can see, everything has void, void update, everything has void. So, um, and then void, I think it just means it's gonna return something or it's not gonna return something. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put player prefs, which this is the function to uh, save things or the class. And then we're gonna access the function uh, get int or set int. We're gonna set this and we're gonna give it a value or a string. It says right here, a string. So a string always has to have these parentheses and then the name of the value or the key. So we're gonna put toggle selected is gonna be the name of the key. Now this, you can name it anything you want. And then we're gonna put zero as the value. We're just gonna close that off with a semicolon. A lot of these things, if you haven't noticed, you have to use a semicolon to close it off. So I could even have it like this, as long as I have the semicolon to let the code or the script know that, um, that the line has ended or this part of the code has ended. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this code and I'm gonna paste it four times or three more times. And then I'm gonna get an error because we have this function or method is named the same thing. So I'm just gonna switch this to two, three, and four. And of course you can name these anything you want to. And then right here, I'm just gonna put one, two, and three. So now on the start function, now that we have all these selected, if the code is getting too long or too uh, cluttered for you, you could also just close these right here. And then we're gonna put right here. I'm gonna open this one just so we could see this. What I'm gonna do is on the start, well actually on the awake method, which is a better practice. So right here, we're just gonna change it to awake. We're gonna put if player press dot get in instead of set because now we're not setting the, the value, we're getting the value. So we're gonna do the parentheses and then we're gonna name or we're gonna get the key, which is this one. And it has to be exactly the same. So what I would do is just double click it, copy it and then paste it. So uh, double click it, control C and then wherever you wanna paste it, control V. And then 
with the curly braces or brackets and then open it. So what you're gonna do now is we get an error because we just got the integer, but we gotta say if it's equal to zero, which is the first toggle selected, we're gonna put toggle one dot is on, which if it's on, it will have a check mark. If it's off, it won't. Copy it, paste it, and then we'll set this to two, three, four, and then we'll just set these all to false. So we'll just set all these to false. And after that, we'll just put else if. So, so for example, so if this isn't true, then we're gonna check this. So else if, all you gotta do is put else if, the parentheses, and then whatever argument you have, which is gonna be this, we're just gonna copy it, and we're gonna set this to one. So now if it's one, it will be toggle two that's selected. So we'll copy all this, and then paste it, change this to false, and then the rest to true, or just this one to true, and the rest to false. So, and then we'll just do this again, this time two, and then this time number three will be true. And we'll just keep going. And then right here to finish the else if statements, or what you could do is you can make another else if, or what you could also do is make an else statement. That way you don't have to put the argument anymore. So this else statement just means if none of these are true, then do this. So we're gonna go here, click it, we're gonna put this one to false, and then this one to true. So if none of those are, tr or none of these are true, this is gonna happen. So after all that, we are pretty much done with the coding part. So let me go over it real quick. So serialized field just makes private variables uh, shown in the inspector. Toggle for you able to be able to access this toggle class, you would have to use this Unity Engine uh, UI namespace. Now, you do not have to use this exactly, but let's say I don't have this. What I would have to do is I would have to go right here. I don't need this code. I would have to go right here and actually put Unity Engine dot UI and then dot toggle. And then it would work as well. But I would have to do that every time I wanna access, you know, this library. So I'm just gonna erase this, went too far. So I'm just using Unity Engine dot UI. Now, so you gotta use the using Unity Engine to get the toggle. And then we set these variables, which is our, our toggle variables. And then an awake function, which is called even before the start function, we're gonna check if the toggle selected is equal to either zero, one, two. And if it is, we're gonna see which ones we set on. So it's set to true or which ones we set off to false. So if, like I said, if it's on, the check mark will show. If it's, if it's equal to true, the check mark will show. If it's equal to false, the check mark won't show. So um, after that, there's also, we got these functions or methods that we created that have the player prefs. Now player prefs, all you gotta do is when you want to save a value, you set the integer. And when you wanna get that value, you get the integer. Or you could get a float or a string. But in this case, we're getting the integer. So after that, we name our save. You could say save file, we name it. So the name we give it is toggle selected and uh, we named it the same for each one because they're gonna be in the same save file because they're basically the same thing. And then we set the value. So this value we give it to, we give a value of zero. This one we give it a value of one, two, and three. And then just remember to control S or command S to, to save it. Then we'll go back and we're still not done yet. There's just one little thing we gotta do is we'll go to the toggle group. We'll make sure all our variables are in here. So if not, just, you know, drag them in. And then we'll go to each of our toggles. We'll select all of them. Go down here to the on value changed. So usually on value change will look like this. There'll be an empty list. So you'll just hit the plus button. And right here you drag in your script or your code that, uh, so you drag in the game object that the code is uh, sitting on or the script is sitting on. So we have our code right here and we wanna access this code or script. So we'll drag in this toggle group right here, right here on the note function. We'll go down here and we'll go to our code. So these are, uh, this is like the code for the game object. If you wanted to turn on or off the game object, if you wanted to, you know, have uh, 
a string tag if you wanted to send a message. This is for the transform uh, if you wanted to look at. If this is a toggle group, if you want to switch something from the toggle group. And then uh, they're safe selected. This is the one we made. And these are these usually come with it. And then we also have ours. This is all uh, in ABC order. Or it's supposed to be in ABC order. At least the, the methods are. So from here down, bool down, or broadcast message down, they're ABC order. So for our, the first one, we'll hit toggle one. For the second one, we'll hit toggle two is selected. Third one, and just you know continue doing that. Toggle three, fourth one, toggle four. After that, you are completely done. Now if you hit play, say we go to toggle three, we exit. Now we go back, toggle three is still clicked. So let's say we go to toggle two, go back. I'm gonna move my mouse way over here, and toggle two is selected. So just to show you guys if this, script wasn't here, if I remove it, and I go to toggle three, I close it, I go back, toggle three won't get selected again. So, as you can see, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you guys need help with it, let me know. This was actually um, asked by a viewer. He didn't really ask me to make a video, but um, I wanted to make a video for anybody that didn't know how to do this. So uh, just leave a comment if you guys want to see a special video or certain video. Just let me know. Once again, thank you.